Okay, we're gonna start with a warm up. Squat down, press elbow to knee, squat, elbow to knee. There you go. So as you lift, pull that belly button back towards your spine so that you're really using the abs to lift the knees, not just your hip flexors in here. You wanna really reach that elbow to the knee so you can get a nice twist in the All right, now we're gonna kick back. We're gonna kick, touch the opposite heel with your hand behind your back. It does take some coordination. Feel a nice woohoo stretch along the front. That's what you get when you work out in the playroom, but it's convenient. All right. Now we're gonna kick forward, touch opposite toe or shin. Keep the legs nice and straight so that you're stretching underneath um, the back of the leg. Hamstring stretch. Again, pull the belly button in so that you're engaging the abs and it's not all hip flexor. All right, big arm circles. Get a nice full range of motion through those ball and socket joints. You may not realize how tight your shoulders are until you kind of, we're gonna switch directions, until you make yourself move in a full range of motion. All right, we're gonna crisscross. Okay, so today we're gonna do something a little different. I mean, not that different, but we're gonna work a lot more on the floor than we usually do. And we're not using any equipment today. So that's good. You can kick everything up a notch with a band and I'll sometimes explain how we do that. But actually, let me point you down. That's good. Move some junk out of the way. There we go. Okay, so. We are gonna work on some core work. Since this week we talked about core work in the Facebook group and our coaching call, um, we're gonna work on our core. So, we're down on the ground. We're just gonna lie on the side, just like Jane Fonda. I call these my Jane Fonda exercises. You're gonna be up on your bottom hip. Bottom leg is nice and bent. Give you a base of support, top leg straight. You're gonna point the top toe down, and then you're gonna make a half circle and tap the heel behind you. So you're gonna go toe, heel. Keep that belly button pulled in to engage the abs. Here we're gonna work on those obliques. You'll feel them working. You're gonna feel your transverse abdominals working. Those are the ones that go across your whole stomach and your back. And we're working on our glute and abductors. And I think that's kind of it for the, the main muscle groups. We're doing 15 of these, that's eight. I kind of lost count. That's 10, we'll just say 11, 12, Fourteen, belly buttons in, fifteen. And I have my shoulder here, but, well, I'm kind of sinking into it a little bit. But you really want to push up, nice long neck, okay? Okay, so from here, knees are together. We're going to do clamshells. We're going to lift both heels up, and we're going to just lift that top leg. So, again, the belly button's pulled in. We're doing fifteen of these. And we're not rolling back this time on the hips. So we're staying, if we were against a wall, we wouldn't be rolling backwards into the wall. Belly button in, chest open. I keep forgetting to count. That's 13, I think, 14, 15. From here, you're gonna 
um, straight in the bottom leg, and the top leg's gonna bend and go flat on the ground right behind the, the bottom leg. Again, nice, good posture up here, and you're just gonna lift that bottom leg straight up so your toes are pointed forward. And I rock back a little bit only because it kind of grinds my hip bone, so I'm now just on my tush, and that's fine. We're doing 15 here too. I think that's five. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, from here, one arm's gonna go up, your top arm's gonna go up, and you're just gonna reach for the toe. We're gonna do fifteen of these. Belly button in. Four. Nine, ten, five more. Feel that inner thigh working. Rest whenever you need. Oh my god, that's my stomach. Okay, and we're gonna switch sides. Okay, here we go. Push up nice and strong in the shoulder. Bottom knee bent. Toe. Heel. Belly buttons in. Eight. I'm having trouble twisting this one down. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, so make sure your knee's locked straight so that you're really engaging the quad here, pulling the knee up. If you bend, it's a lot easier to really overuse the hip flexor. So you wanna engage the quad during this movement. All right, knees together. We're gonna lift those heels up, belly button in, and fifteen here, clamshells. Don't rock back in your hips. Chest nice and open. Belly button in towards the spine. 13, I think. Sorry. 15. <laughs> All right. Now you're going to bend the um, top leg, straighten the bottom. Now we're going to do 15 here. Belly button in, chest open. All right, top arm up, and now we're gonna really reach for the toe. Good job. All right, now we're going on our stomach. And if you watch the video on Facebook, you'll know I hate that. But we're gonna do some. All right, so lying down here, belly button is pulled in. So like I was explaining, as if there's an ice cube or a grape underneath your belly button, you're just trying not to squish it. So pull up through the belly button. From here, you're gonna lie down. You're gonna first lift your arms up and then slide them down your back like you're um, in a hold up. So I'll demonstrate and we're gonna do 15 of these. Up, down as low as you can, get those hands off the ground. Squeeze the tush, belly button in, three, foreheads on the ground. Ten. Nine. 
All right, here, hands behind the head. You're just gonna lift up and up. Now you're gonna go up and back. Just 10 of these. Keep your neck in line with the spine. Eight, nine, ten. If that's hard on the neck, you can keep your head down for that one. So it would just look like this. That's fine. Or lifted your hip. Okay. Now we're gonna bend the knees and we're gonna um, rest the chin on your hands. And you're just gonna try to lift those knees off the ground. So knees bent, feet together, knees apart. You're just going to try to lift 15 of these here. Belly button in. One, two. You might not even get off the ground, and that's fine. It's just about the effort. Ten. Okay, now it's like literally my least favorite exercise. We're going to do swimmers. So we're gonna do 30 of these all together. So hands up, you can keep your forehead down or lift the torso up a little bit. I'm gonna lift the torso just cause keeping my head down makes me claustrophobic. <laughs> um, so you're gonna lift those feet, lift the hands, and then just kick both arms and legs. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, we're gonna move into child's pose here, just to stretch it out a bit. All right, now we're going on to our knees. If you have knobby knees like mine, you might want a yoga mat or even roll up your yoga mat a little bit so it's even more padded. I'm just gonna power through because I don't feel like getting mine. So you start here, you're gonna put one leg out to the side, like this. Then the hand with the bent leg is just gonna reach down. So it's not a side plank with the knee down, it's really just lean down and balance. If this is at all weird or uncomfortable for you, you can get a um, chair and put your elbow on it, or a stool, even better for elbow or hand. So from here, I'm gonna tuck my toes under, it's my knobbly knees. You're just gonna lift and lower 10 times. Just a horizontal. Seven. All right, now we're gonna circle, small circles, 10. Seven, ten, and I'm gonna rest here. You'll feel like the bottom leg and the top leg getting tired. Isn't that awesome? Now we're gonna go the other direction with the circles. Keep that belly button pulled in. Three, two, one. Okay, rest again. Now we're gonna lift and we're just gonna kick forward. So from here, you're gonna lift and kick. 10 of these. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, and we're gonna do the other side. Woohoo! All right. Okay, this is my sore knee. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to get a pillow. All right. Oh, much better. Okay. So, from here, up and down. Ten. Two. Belly button in. Ten. Circles. the other way. Five, four. All right. Last 
last one, lift and kick forward. Up, kick. like me your butt is probably screaming at you by now we're gonna move into some planks so you can move the pillow if you grabbed one all right so here remember a nice long neck squeeze the tush just gonna tap the knees down and then back 15 of these three Belly button in. All right. From here, we're going to do crossing mountain climbers. So you're just going to reach knee to opposite elbow. We're doing 10, that's 20 on each side. Nope, 20, that's 10 on each side. Three. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, rest. I don't know about you, but I need to shake out my arms. If your wrists bother you, you can get um, some weights and hold on to them like this. Just careful that they're not total circles or you'll be um, uh, spraining your wrist easily when they roll around. So we go straight down like this, or you can just go on your elbows, that's totally fine. For some reason, I think it's the claustrophobia. I don't really love an elbow plank just because it feels weird to me. Okay, back in your plank position. Shoulders are right over the wrists from here. Crunch, back, Woo. crunch, back. So you can do this here, crunch, back to plank. You can do the whole thing on your knees too. Woo. This is four. And again, elbows is fine. Five. Ooh. Five. Let's do one more on each side. Six. And six. Ooh. All right, rest. Okay. So, see, you're breathing heavy, right? Or I am. Um, you can do a lot just sitting on the ground and we're getting a great workout too. So knees are bent. This is a fun one. I can't remember where the arms go. I think they go on either side of the front legs. So you're really not here sitting up nice and tall. I think it's here. Here. Now you're going to try to lift that whole front leg off of the ground up and down. Maybe in here. Again, you might not lift very far, and that's fine. Six, we're doing 10, eight, nine, 10. Okay, here's where I always have trouble, lifting the back leg. So you're gonna lift, try not to lean forward too much. Five, belly in. sides. All right, what did we decide? Back here I think is good. All right, lift that front leg. Belly button in. Nine, ten. Lift the back leg. Oh, I want to reach forward. This one's harder for me. 
four. Nine, ten. All right. You made it. Now it's time to stretch. See, easy peasy. If you want, pause here and do it all over again. That's a great circuit to run through twice. I don't know if I would do it three times, especially if you felt it the first time, because you might be pretty sore. Um, you can also add on like a set of 20 push-ups and 20 dips to get a little bit more in the arms. But we are gonna stretch, grab the ankles, and pull those knees down to the ground. By pull, of course, I mean push. <laughs> so pull on the ankles, use the elbows to push the knees down. If you're sitting up pretty tall and not really able to hinge forward, you can use the arms to push them down, the hands. But most important is just the hinge forward. We're not here, we're hinging forward at the hips. All right, nice wide straddle. Sit up tall, turn, and walk your hands out towards Stop wherever you need to get a good stretch. So if you need to stop here, that's fine. Again, we're not rounding. We're stretching our spine as long as we can as we lean towards the leg. We're gonna, you can grab on and pull your elbows down to the ground if you need. And point the toes, you'll feel a nice stretch on top of the ankle. That's a great place to stretch that we don't do very often. Now you're gonna walk the middle, again, staying hinged at the hips, not rounding the spine very much. It'll be a little round, of course, but you want to focus on elongating your spine. Keep those toes pointed. Go to the other side. Stay low. Keep this opposite knee pointed up. You don't want it rolling in. Together. Now you can flex the toes and reach forward again. Long spine reaching the chin to the toes as opposed to the nose to the knees. I like to grab my ankles. You can grab your calves or knees. Just try to pull the elbows down to the ground. If you feel good in this position, really try rotating your pinkies away from your body. Does that make sense? Your pinky toes? So your feet aren't rolling inwards towards each other. It's called sickling. I don't know if you care, but it really helps stretch in the right place. All right. Now you're gonna bend the knees. Sit right here. Um, some people can put their heels down. I have really unflexible ankles. I think I broke them too many times. Um, so whatever feels comfortable for you. I'm just using my elbows to pull my knees apart and stretch the inside of my thighs. All right, hands down, butt up. You're gonna shift your weight to one side. Put your hands on either side of that foot. You should feel a nice stretch along the outside of the leg and back behind the knee. If you're not down that far, that's fine. Just wherever you're hanging is good. All right, shift the weight to the other side. Hands on either side of the other foot. Roll up to stand. We're gonna do three deep breaths in. Ready, one. And exhale. Another one, big inhale, big exhale. Last one, big inhale, big exhale. Give yourself a hug, tell your body thank you, and let your body thank you for taking this time to take care of it. Now tell yourself I am strong, I am awesome, and I'm capable of making today amazing. Have a good day.